When it comes to the serve at this age, I'm more concerned about their ability to toss it consistently and gently out of their hand. I care less about the grip, I care more about the toss. The idea is the toss is the most under practice motion. If we can get them early, understanding how to have that ball float out of their hands, it's gonna set them up for success. Even if you have great service motion, if you have toss that goes everywhere all the time, it doesn't matter. We're gonna start off working on the toss and then the trap on the fence. So this is a great drill for her to work on the toss, but then also work on the timing of trapping it and having full extensions. You're gonna stand in your circles, you're gonna toss right up the fence. This is also training you to keep the toss going straight up, right? Because if I toss forward, is it gonna bounce off the fence? So we, and I don't wanna toss this way, it's away from the fence. So we're gonna work on tossing directly up the fence. You see that? Now, how do we hit it? So the idea is you're gonna give me a nice gentle toss and then you're gonna trap it. So it's gonna look like this. I want you to hold it like that. I'm taller than you, right? So it's gonna be higher. But that is the idea right here. So set your feet. Again, we use the circles to maintain the proper form with the feet. You're gonna always start with your racket up and ready. And then maybe even a little closer here. You're gonna toss it to about right here. You just toss and I'll help trap. So toss it up. Good, now did the toss come back over here? Okay, so now we have to toss more straight up the fence here. Now toss straight up the fence, go. And then trap. Try again, I'll help you one more time and then you do it. So we're here, toss straight up the fence, trap. Now, was that against the fence or was it farther away? Farther. See how your arm's straight, I like this. We don't wanna have the elbow bent. We want the arm straight out like that. Toss up against the fence. Okay, so notice, we are needing to work on getting the toss to go straight up. This is where the fence is helpful, look. Straight up, see this, look, look, woo. Even if you don't trap it, if we get a good toss, we're, we're in good shape. Toss it up. Good try. Do it again. Here. Your feet, feet, this foot, a little closer. Good. Boom. She's not touching the fence, but she's right here. And notice her arm can be fully extended. We want that. And we want her to be able to just go right up the fence like this. Go. Ooh, the power. Here we go. Here. Go. Ooh. I see that you're trying to adjust that toss more. Good. Now reach the arm. Pop. Toss. Go. Oh! Lizzie! Was that one close? Yeah? That was a little close. See how I'm setting you up? Here. Here. Toss up. Yes! We did it! You see that? Okay. Now we know we can do it. Let's do it again. You did that on your own too. Rack. Hold it. Hold it, silly. Was your racket ready? Or was your racket just flopping around right here? <laughs> I need your racket ready, like ready to serve, arms straight out, toss up the fence, trap it. Ooh, now, did that toss stay along the fence or did it come out here? Come out. So let's toss again, let's make the correction, right? Toss it straight up the fence, racket red. Oh, now, I'm gonna give you credit because that was a good trap, but was your racket up and ready or was it hanging down? Hanging down. Hanging down. So here, racket ready. Other hand, silly. Here you go. Good, racket up. Arms straight out against the fence. Good, toss it up. Tell me, what about the toss? It flew away. It flew away. So let's do it again. You're gonna make that correction now. Toss it up. Ooh, was it close? It was, rack it up. Oh yes, now, we're gonna be happy about this today because we're still just learning this, right? Put your hand back on it. Okay, in the future, I want you to be lower like this. Look, we'll keep the ball here. I'm gonna move your arm, look. I want it more, put your feet back where they were. I want more like that. You see how you're reaching up like this? We call this full extension. So in the future, we wanna trap it that high. This last one was kinda of down here, yeah? Can we try to trap it up higher? Let's try. Yes! Look at that, all I had to do was ask you to do it and you did it. Give me a high five. That's, you're so coachable. I love that. You wanna do it again? Yeah. Can we get two more traps and then we'll go to the next thing? Really reaching up high. Re oh, now, first of all, that was an amazing trap. Look at that. Look at the feet too. See how she's turned her toe? She's using her hips. Boom, this is awesome. Okay, ready. One more trap like that. Racket ready. Oh, wow. High five. You just nailed it. That was awesome. 
this is a great drill to do anywhere. You know, if you have something that can, even if you have chalk, you can just like chalk the spot for her feet. And remember you're spacing to where I can fully extend my arm out like this without touching the fence. If I'm like this, it's not gonna work. If I'm like this, it's not gonna work. So I gotta be right here and I'm using the fence as a guide to toss straight up. You have them have their racket ready and then they're reaching to trap. This is a, a really fun drill that kids generally like and it's a really great progression drill for the serve at this age. Okay, now we're gonna do real serves. After you hit a few serves, then you're gonna serve and then I'm gonna feed you a ball that you have to run after. Okay, now here's the fun part. You get to now aim, you're aiming for that box. You see that box? Okay. Tell me about the toss. It was too low. It was too low and was it moving this way? So set your feet, rack it up. I like it. Can you get your racket more up like this though? Show me how to get your racket up more. So instead of like right here like this, this is too easy now. You're too good. In the very beginning, we were like this, right? We were like, Pop. Now, Lizzie's gotten so much better. We're gonna be more like that, okay? Yes! Look at where you wanna go. Tell me about your toss. Here. It's too low. Too low, are you sure? Yeah. Or was it too far? Too far. Too far, okay, rack it up. Wow, now that was nice and high. Was it in front of you or behind you? Behind. Okay, this is crucial. Me teaching you how to understand what went wrong with the toss. Is that gonna help you fix it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so rack it up. Yes, in the box. High five. Okay, before we do our next drill, you need to make five in the box. Okay. Starting now, okay? Set your feet, focus, rack it up. Hold on, were you really ready? No. Remember, we have to slow down. We have to look at what we want to do. We want to look over there, rack it up. Take a deep breath. Tell me about your toss. It was too low. It was too low. Rack it up. Tell me about your toss. Did it go away from you? Too low. It kind of rolled off your fingers too low? Let's try again. Yes! Awesome. Okay, that's one. In the box. In the box. You need four more in the box. So this is why we were practicing on the fence. We were practicing reaching up like this. So pretend I'm the fence, right? Pretend I'm the fence. You're gonna toss all the way up the fence and then you're gonna smack it. Ready? Go. Wow, but you did it! Here's the good news. That toss was awesome. You just didn't hit it. So now let's do it again. Give me a nice, awesome toss again. Reach your arm out. That was pretty close. Now, notice when we come out here, the reason we were doing that fence thing, set up here, her natural comfortable spot is her arm is in this L position for the toss, which is gonna cause problems because it's gonna flick around and move. So with the fence, we were teaching her straight arm. So let's remember this straight arm, rack it ready, boom, boom. Ooh, I wanna see one really good one. Can you show me how to get focused and look at your target? Tell me, was that a flick or a toss? Flick. It was a flick. So let's do that toss again without Wait, flicking you don't it. have any more balls. I know, it's set them up because you've been hitting so many. Okay, rack it up. Reach up with the toss. Yeah, oh, we gotta do it again. That was so close. Oh my goodness. If we were to just look at that slow-mo of that swing, that was amazing. Let's do it again. Yes! See, I don't really care if it goes in that box. If you give me a really good swing and a good toss, that's all we need. We're gonna do a drill now. I need you to get six balls and line them up in a straight line. And I'm gonna feed you a ball after you serve. And you're gonna have to run for it. So you're gonna serve, and then right after you serve, whether you make it or miss it, whatever happens, I'm gonna hit a ball and you gotta run and go get it. Well, you know what we call this drill? Serve plus one. So we're learning how to serve and then react to the next ball. Cause if we're playing a real point, Lizzie, and you serve the ball at me, are you gonna have to be ready right away for when I hit it back? Yeah. So we're learning how to serve and then run and move. So let's go ahead and grab your racket and let's do this fun serve plus one drill, okay? Am I gonna tell you if it's a forehand or a backhand or are you gonna have to just see? Go get your racket, let's do five. Remember, no matter what happens, even if you miss it, I'm still gonna feed it, okay? Yes! The first.
first one. You did it. Grab another one. That was awesome. Ooh, I love that you went for the swing though. You didn't overrun it. Try to hit me with it, yeah? I'm your target. Woo, we did serve plus two. Woo, Lizzie, I love it. How about this, match point? Go get it, go get it. Yes, can we do one more? And I'll finish with a pink ball, yeah? Pink ball, go! Whoa, she made the pink ball! High five. Oh, why are you rolling your eyes at me today, girl? We kind of did a little serve progression, how we practiced the toss against the fence, worked on trying to control the toss going straight up, working on full extension, then came out and did some practice serves where she's really trying to focus on the straight arm, she's trying to focus on the reach. Then from there, we line up some balls behind her, I go on the other side, and she hits and then I feed her a ball right away. So she's having to really focus on executing the tough shot of a serve and then be ready to then run to the next ball, which is gonna simulate what it would be like when she's playing a point. And she did very well on hitting and then moving to that ball quickly. You can see how she's calm and then she's fast. So you did very well with that. When we were doing the serves after the fence, I was really trying to focus on straight arm. She likes to be like that with her arm bent. So when we were serving over the net, I was really trying to emphasize to her straight arm. And when we first learned how to serve, you know, we're like right here with the racket because we're just kind of popping it. But now I'm trying to get her to get the racket more behind her head, right at her ear. So kind of reminding her to set it here first, reminding her to get reaching your arms stretched out before she goes. And then the biggest thing that I was doing right when she was tossing and making mistakes was I would ask her what happened with the toss. I wouldn't necessarily tell her right away. I want to know, did she know she flicked it? Did she know that it was low? Did she know that it went away? It was too high. If I just give her the answers all the time, it's not going to develop her properly. She has to be able to feel what she did wrong and then show an adjustment. So she did a really good job where one was low and we recognized it. And then you see her on the next one, get it up high. So that was really great. It's just assessing the toss. Cause like I said, the toss is number one before anything else. So lots of emphasis on the toss. We don't necessarily care if she makes it over or in. It's all about the, just the process of tossing it up, making contact with good, with good timing and just letting the arm fly. That's why we practice so much throwing. 